And but one thing that the governor did not bring up tonight was on homelessness. It's a topic that he's also been very vocal about just recently in recent weeks, saying that if the Austin City Council doesn't do something about its homeless camping ordinance, that the state will. Now, to remind you, there is a state sanctioned homeless encampment in southeast Austin just off of Highway 183. A nonprofit tells me that recently it's been filling up. So I went out there earlier this afternoon to take a look at it and also understand what the potential future for it could be. For thousands that drive past it every day, it just looks like the homeless camp that was set up by the state. But for the hundreds inside, like Teddy Maddox, it's for people to come, get their stuff straight. It's a temporary home. Get up in the morning, go to work, pay my bills, and try to catch up. He's been living at the spot off Highway 183 in Southeast Austin for more than a year. There's so many resources that people can use to get everything, get their life back in order, then get back on with living. That's thanks to several organizations. Thrifta shows up monthly to hand out donated clothes. Um, I have one more. Cornerstone Church out of Lakeway serves food twice a week. Some days it's sandwiches, sometimes it's beef well, stews. And the other one's foundation, bringing with them showers and resources to help people find jobs. The foundation is now working on getting more control over managing the property, and now they say the camp needs to grow. So it's an extremely fluid situation, and we are at what we're considering capacity right now. Max Mosco, the community engagement coordinator, says there are anywhere between 150 and 200 people living there now. Once we put the 200 shelters out there, we're looking at more of a capacity like 300. He's talking about these mini shelters, a bed, electricity, shelves, and more, but they need money to set them up. Once you put somebody inside of a shelter where they're out of the elements, they're out of survival mode, at least to a degree, then our capacity to help more people starts to show. While the city of Austin buys and leases hotels to house the homeless, a group, Save Austin Now, is calling for an audit looking at how much the city has spent to help the homeless. In a separate interview last week, leaders of the group told us that the city's efforts haven't been working. The problem is these facilities are not being converted fast enough. As for people like Teddy at the camp, he says a roof over their heads would help get many back on their feet. Basic necessities that you would that you take for granted it means so much to us. And Brian, the Austin City Council plans to vote on buying another hotel to house the homeless on Thursday.